Just how sophisticated is the human eye? It's next on today's Creation Moment. And now, here's our Creation Moments host, Ian Taylor. The tiny computer chip, which is the basis of modern computers, is a thin wafer of silicon only about seven millimeters or a quarter of an inch across. This tiny chip might have the equivalent of 100,000 transistors built right into it. Despite its size, hundreds of connections might be attached to it. If you were to find a silicon chip laying in the silicon sand at the beach, which would be quite an accomplishment because they're so small, but however, if you could find one, you would never be able to convince even one engineer that the chip had formed through the chance movements of all that silicon-based sand. Now consider the human eye. The retina at the back of the eye is a very thin membrane, much thinner even than the clingiest food wrap. This retina contains not transistors, but much, much more sophisticated photoreceptors, each of which is a high-gain amplifier. The retina doesn't have a 100,000 of these, but rather it has 200,000 for each square millimetre of retina. But the greatest wonder of all is how any scientist can say that your miraculous eye is the result of unguided genetic mistakes. Indeed, God's fingerprints are all over the creation, just as man's work is seen in the computer chip. How can anyone who can only design the computer chip dare question the one who can design the eye, and so much more? For a printed transcript of today's program, visit our website at creationmoments.com or call us toll-free at 1-800-42-BIBLE. And be sure to join us next time for another Creation Moment, proclaiming evidence of God's truth.